And good morning, everyone. I just had to check my microphone. So everything's doing well. Um, today is a very good Friday. And so PSEI, medyo stalemate tayo kay PSEI. Uh, still no volume. Ganun pa rin, 5 billion value uh, traded. Um, 5.96 to be exact. Um, yun, medyo manipis pa rin si market. So medyo shaky pa ang galaw ni market. But somehow... Um, umakit naman tayo sa 8,000 the past few days. So, that's looking good. Right? So, um, ayun. Um, let's talk about that in a bit. Uh, medyo inaantok pa because of the international market and the wake of my grandma. So, medyo late kami natulog. But anyways, tuloy pa rin ang daily grind kahit puyatan. And good morning, Ranulfo. First, as good morning to my daughter, Laika. Also, my buntag, Ranulfo. Makian, good morning, Jing. Martinez, good morning, Coach Leonel Kasing Web, Sir Lloyd, a very good bounce web kahapon, very good volume. So I hope this is a reversal. I don't want you to chase after it. That's basically a missed opportunity. Congratulations, sa mga nagrisk dun sa baba. So yeah, we talked about web before, di ba? Kasi may nakita tayong divergence. Um, the bounce would um the bounce is looking well. Just didn't want to recommend it here, is it, di ba? Um, nakita niyo po ito. Um, we talked about this bounce right here. This is a divergence bounce. Uh, we talked about it the past few days. And dito. So, pababa ang presyo, but RSI is already going up. So, this would have been a good part time to test it. Right? So, congratulations sa mga nag-test noon dito with the support. And then, they, would, they were able to gain that much yesterday. Right now, it's already a missed opportunity. How is it a missed opportunity? Um, here it is. Um, it is uh, from the... Support itself, it's already negative 9%. You add up your uh, cut loss, so it's around negative 12 already. So, this is not a good position to get into. Let's just wait for a clearer pullback before we want to get in. Okay, web, uh, we'll talk more about that in a while. Um, Daraboa, Daranboa, good morning. Uh, good day, Sir Lloyd and Laika. And thank you so much. Joe Marlim, good morning, sir. Nakabili po ako sa 23 point 10 kay Didi ano po ba dapat gagawin right Didi right 23 point 10 all right so 23 point 10 is kind of high nasa resistance ka bumili all right let me check that out so this is the previous resistance and then 23.11 your resistance so bumili ka sa 23 point 10 that's uh, below resistance even pero andun sa tuktok um Hopefully, it just uh, hopefully uh, it breaks out. Pero kung hindi po, we don't really know where it is going. So basically, that that area of support when you bought it, uh, cut loss po tayo sa around three point. Uh, napat sa two point ninety eight cut loss natin, because we don't know if it's gonna go down back to MA twenty as the support. That's number one. Number two, we don't know if it's gonna go back to support which is 12% away. Number three, we don't know if it's gonna bounce at support. So, yun po ang iiwasan natin. So, um, medyo risky yung laro mo. I think you wanted to do a breakout strategy nung nag-breakout ito, but it failed, so dapat lumabas ka. Negative three below support, right? So, hindi natin alam saan papunta yan eh. So, Jomar, it really depends on your, um, on your purpose of getting in. If ang purpose mo of getting in is for ano for uh what do you call this for trading low risk trading dapat um on a breakout strategy and for short term naman yan um depende talaga sa pro, uh, de, uh what do you call this plan mo yan Lionel Kasing VLL CPG at X din po sir thanks uh I don't think call hindi ako uncle mo <laughs> Lionel Kasing VLL CPG and X right let me write that down Alright, so Carl Nico Santos. Good morning, Coach Lloyd. Insights po kay, uh, with CHP, T, and Web si CHP. Um, Nag-break na ng MA20 si CHP. Eh. So, price action-wise, not really not really good to get into anymore. Alright. Uh, honey Kabigting, good morning, Coach. And like, uh, now, now, please, uh, now is in my recommendations for today. So, very good. 
to very good find honey we'll talk about now later madadaan na natin yan JV El Pidang good morning uh, Sir Lloyd and to everyone have a great day ahead happy trading happy trading too um, oops bumagsak yung comments um, my tube 836 good morning loss ako ng 12% kay or okay lang ba i-keep ko okay lang to, to wait uh, kaya lang worth waiting ba okay ba ito for medium term Yes, I think ore is good for medium term. So far, so good naman ang mga developments na ore. Um, hindi na sila mining lang. They are transitioning also um, into what they call this. Um, nag-transition na rin sila to uh, energy, right? Si ore, so magandang developments kay ore. Hindi na sila purely mining. Kasi kung purely mining lang sila, medyo shaky kasi ang mining. Eh. But with their, their diversification, we're just waiting for the numbers of ore. Definitely, um, maganda yung lalabas ng mga numbers ni ore. Um, according to our uh, people we know, um, just keep buying on the dips ako kay ore. I'm still holding on to my ore. Overall, it's still a very cheap price with the developments that it had. So, definitely, look at the third quarter numbers ni ore. Definitely, very big. Um, so, we're looking at, uh, we're, 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 we're thinking um, most probably malaki rin yung um, annual earnings ni ore. Um, or has very good development. So for me, uh, yes, it's worth it to hold or if ever gusto mo mag uh, medyo ayaw mo ikat loss niyan 12% mo. Right? Jamie Indiola, good morning sir. PIP please. All right, si PIP gumalaw na at last. Hindi last, yun yung sinasabi ko. Um get in the support. We just don't know when the support is gonna uh, when is it gonna move. At I think PIP is already moving. Let's check out more. Um, or later, I mean PIP later on. That's for Jamie and Diola. Jolly Goddess, good morning. Um, Raymond Cipio, morning, sir. Insights for BPI and ISM. BPI and ISM is in my, uh, is in my recommendations for today. So definitely, both of them are good to test. All right, condolence, coach. Um, thank you, Honey Kabigting. Dennis Rodriguez, good morning, sir. Paki check naman po si SOC, ISM, and PHA. Right, PHA is in my pick also for today. So definitely at the support levels, pwede natin si testing. So tingnan natin if gagalaw in the future. If hindi, um, we just cut our losses. Emmanuel Buta, good morning sir. PX and PXP. Mahili ka sa PX ha. <laughs> right, so let me write that down. Tingnan natin mamaya ni Emmanuel. Apaging, Lara. Hi sir Lloyd. Okay na ba bumili ng IRC habang mababa pa ang price? Um, IRC. With the current projects of IRC, yeah, I think so. But um, let's check the chart first. If, because uh, fundamental speaking, um, possibly, maganda naman yung projects niya, so it will go up. Fundamentally speaking, pero, and again, the difference between fundamentals and technical analysis is fundamentals will tell us what stocks to buy, right? Um, kung pwede bang bilhin si IRC, pwede bang bilhin si JFC, sila BDO, ano mga mga stocks maganda bilhin, right? Fundamentals na sasagot niyan. But doesn't mean you have to buy it right away. That's where technicals come in. Because technicals will tell you when to buy it. Right? So, tingnan natin technicals kung pwede na bambilhin. Right? So, yun po yung mga tinuturo ko sa seminar. Um, if you want to join the seminar, kindly uh, send me a message if you want to join so I can send you the details. I have a seminar tomorrow, 8 in the morning. I mean, 9 in the morning, Saturday and Sunday po yan. Two-day workshop po kasi yan. And so, send me a message if you want to join that. Um... Apaging, sir, and um, Gilbert Velis, what do you think of Annie, sir Lloyd? Is it gonna do a pullback soon or will it continue to go up? Yeah, do you recommend natin si Annie the past few days, diba? When it started to do the bounce here. Yeah, so pinasok natin si Annie. Why natin, again, why did we recommend Annie during that time? Because here we have the divergence present. And yun yung sabi ko, this is a healthier bottom than this one. Yeah, nga pala guys, someone commented kasi na um, yung mga recommendations ko daw. Um, pangit kasi dapat siya check yung PE ratio muna, right? Um, actually, that's 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 a very good point, right? Um, very good point, pero it doesn't always follow kasi yung PE ratio. I minsan lang na follow, right? We're trading here short term price actions yung tinitingnan natin. So I'm more looking into the price action. I'm looking at what the market is telling us us as of the moment, right? Kung magbabans masaya nade. That's why we caught ani. Right? Because of this, di ba? So, we win. Um, and then, if ever, mag pull back na siya, then we can sell half if we want to. So, without PE ratio, we're able to win. Doesn't always follow PE ratio. Very good point on that. I have to always look at the 
P ratio. I don't always look at P ratio. I have I look at PE ratio for my medyo longer term holds like for example si Tel. Napakamura ni ni Tel ngayon. Um but um that's for more conservative plays, right? If you want to be more aggressive then I don't look at I don't usually look at PE ratio anymore. Right, I always look at the chart as much as possible because the chart tells us when to buy it. Right, what if gumawa ng uptrend si chart, tapos gusto ko stock nito pero PE ratio is mataas na. Should I get in or not, de ba? So ano nga gawin mo? Uptrend yung stock eh, de ba? Kaya mataas yung PE ratio, should we not recommend it or you're seeing a support already pero malit pang PE ratio, ah, mal- may may mata- ma- mataas pa siya sa PE ratio niya, should you not buy it? Diba? Um, I always ask myself what the chart is telling me, right? The chart is telling me that it's moving, even if it's mataas na PE ratio niya, JFC, diba? Pag mag-breakout si JFC, anong gagawin mo? Mataas na PE ratio niyan, are you not gonna get in? So, um, there's a debate there. Uh, it really depends on your strategy. I'm more into a shorter term trading na position trade, so less conservative. I don't usually look at the PE ratio. I look, I focus more on the price action, what the market is doing, right? And then play there. If ever I I'm wrong, I just cut my losses. So far, so good. My um, yung mga linalaro kong stocks, kumikita naman even in eToro, right? So uh, most of our wins, um. Price action lang naman pinafollow ko kasi karamihan din naman pinapasok ko mga blue chips. Tataas na ng PE ratio ng mga yun. Eh. So, but kahit mataas ang PE ratio, may movement pa rin yan. Sasabihin pa rin ng market na paakyat pa yan. So, you can play with it. So, ayan. Um, may nag-comment dun eh. So, I just had to cover that up. Um, I mean, I just had to answer that uh, that comment. Ayan. So, Um, asa na tayo? Si Ani, we caught it because of price action kahit mataas na PE ratio ni Ani. Right? So, mataas na to sa PE ratio niya. So, here, um Ani, when is it gonna pull back? We don't know. Yun yung problema sa naghahantay ng pull back. Hindi natin alam kailan siya magpo-pull back. That's why I always what I usually do, sinasabi ko sa inyo, you test out the support doing test buys. Right? Test buy lang, maliit lang na amount para at least kung hindi man siya mag-pull back, nakasakay ka pa rin, hindi ka maiinggit. Right, so let Ani, let the market do uh, what it does. Right, if hindi siya magbigay sa atin ng magandang pullback, then we don't get in. Ganun lang, right? So, ganun lang ginagawa ko. This time, sinuwerte tayo. It showed us a, a buy signal. That's why we bought, or why, that's why we recommended it here. Right, same with Tel. Right, um, Tel gave us a buy signal here. And then we have an RSI that's going up. So this is a much healthier bottom. We're able to ride it sa pag-akit niya. Ngayon nagpo-pullback siya, which is good. We're just waiting for a, v- a very healthy pullback. And then before we want to get in, uh, maybe at MA20, we, we, we can buy more if we want to. Well, let's see what will happen in the future. We don't really know yet. Right? So that's for that question. Um... That's from Gilbert Velas. Burnstone TV Gaming. Good morning, sir. Sell na ba si SMC? Alright, let's check out SMC in a bit. SMC. Alright. Trabahador. Good morning, sir. Lloyd IRC and PHA po. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Alright, so PHA is in my picks for today. IRC. Tingnan natin yan. Um... Wala, hindi ko pala nasulat sa IRC. Right, tingnan natin sa IRC. Gilbert Balana, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pwede pa checks ng LSC. Alright, so Lepanto Shipping. Huwag pa kayo maglalaro dyan sa mga pinaglalaroan ng mga stocks. Those movements are subs- unsubstantiated. So, kaya mataas na, huwag niyo pong hahabulin, okay? Taka lang ha. Ingay ng mga aso ko eh. Right, so John Vicente Pleto, good morning, sir. Thoughts on SCC? Come on, natin si SCC. Right, Gehien Penyaloga, good morning, sir. Geo CPG, oi, congratulations nga pala sa mga Geo holders. Right, so Geo, can't remember when I recommended it, but let's check out the chart. Right, Geo kahapon, laki ng panalo ni Geo. Kala nga ng mga tao magsisiling siya. Right? So, we recommended Geo at this point right here. Um, nung, nung bounce niya. Right? So, we were able to win that much. Yeah, so, mga pumasok. Uh, we recommended it because we saw this divergence. Um, pababa yung presyo niya. Pero, RSI was already going up. So, that was a very good support right there. Ganda na movement. That's why we recommended it here. 
and umakyat na si Gio. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Gio. Guys, this is a missed opportunity. Position training po tayo. Wala pong position pwede dyan. So, we will wait for a pullback before we wanna get in. Alright, so, yung mga position, mga momentum traders, ganito lang yan eh. Yung mga momentum traders, kumita kahapon. ba? Diba? Kasi marunong sila mag-momentum. Pero hindi sila kumita. Uh, so, mga position traders naman, yung mga position, position traders na nakahuli kay Gio, dito sila pumasok. So, kumita din sila. So, you can earn in momentum trading. You can also earn in position trading. It's just that, this is already out of position. That's not our game anymore. Right? So, dito tayo nakahuli dyan sa position niya. So, kanya-kanyang wins lang naman yan. Iba-iba eh. naman tayo ng strategy. Diba? So, wag nyo pong hahabulin yan. There's, there's no position here. It's not good for position traders. Right? Baka maipit lang kayo dyan. Um, let's continue. Geo, CPG, MB. Right? So, si Geo, wait for the pullback lang guys ha. But congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Gio. Uh, si CPG yesterday yung best entry point niya. I don't really know where it's, it is going today. So, let's check it out in a bit. Joe Marlim, you're welcome. Joe Vitanael, good morning Sir Lloyd. Holsim House, CLI, Meg. Si Meg magbabreakout na naman eh. Pero, medyo mataas na sa akin para sa akin si Meg. Eh. So, I don't really wanna recommend it. Uh, mas malaki ang chances po na manalo kayo pag noon kayo sa baba naglalaro, hindi noon sa taas. Coach, good morning, good day. Dami ng record today, 12 times. Yeah, ang ganda ng mga positions today. Eh. Uh, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 12 ngayon. But these are very good positions as of the moment. Ba bumawi naman kahapon. Di ba kahapon, dalawa lang ang recommendations. Kasi wala, wala tayong mahanap na buy signals yesterday. But yesterday, I mean today, daming mga bounces and confirmations ng support. I'll show you later. Bakit? So, it's up to you who you wanna pick. Siguro, I'll also pick my top three on the picks. Right? Um, top five lang siguro pa para makita nyo. Kasi baka meron kasing iba sa inyo na nag-aabang sa stock na yan and this is the buying point already. So, you can check it out. Um, ito yung recommendations ko for today if you wanna check it out. Um, that's Vita, B Core, ISM, PHA, Win, CEI, MER, FNI, ECP, Now, Primex, and BPI. Price action wise, and daming mga binibigay sa atin. So let's check it out in a bit. Right, so Kathy, Kat, um, Sir, good morning. Pano kalaki fan nyo nung nag start kayo? Mag full time trader po, and ano po suggestion ninyo? na gusto maging full-time trader po. Alright, uh, it doesn't matter how much I started. Alright, ganito lang yan. Only risk an amount you are, you can afford to lose. Alright, you can afford to lose. Yan lang. So, tatanungin ko po kayo. What are you, uh, anong, para saan itong pera na ginagamit ninyo? If sasabihin nyo sa akin, basa, pa, kasi para sa retirement ko ito, nako, wag nyo po ilalaro sa stocks yan. Right? Pag bumagsak yan, maubos ang retirement mo, matatrabaho ka hanggang matanda ka na. Right? And if you say that um, savings ko po ito, um, kasi gusto kong patubuin, um, the purpose of the saving is baka bumili ako ng bahay, baka hindi ka magkabahay niyan. Right? Only risk and amount you can afford to lose. Iba-iba kasi tayo ng thresh threshold. Eh. Right? Iba-iba tayo ng threshold. Right now, I'm... I'm I'm trading in um, international market. So, sa international market, kakasimula ka pa lang. Nagsimula ako. Nagpo-full-time trade na ako sa Itoro, di ba? Um, pero I only have 100,000 in it. Because right now, I am not, I'm still not that confident in the international market. So, I cannot afford to lose much. Kasi I don't, I'm not confident in the, in, in, the, in the skill yet. Right? Hopefully soon, aakit na aakit yan. I slowly, uh, I gradually increase my, my money. Right, so it really depends from person to person. If you, what if I tell you, meron ako, um, nagstart ako ng uh, one million, kaya niyo puba, it risk a uh, one million on your end. So iba iba talaga tayo. Doesn't matter how much you start with, right? It is uh, what matters is your skill. If you're confident with your skill, then you can risk a higher amount, right? Unahin niyo po ang skills. Wag kayo mag, ma, wag niyo po, wag po yung amount ang unang ECP niyo. So, yan. Um, be more concerned of the skills, right? Kasi pag may skills ka na, alam na you're already confident. You can afford more to risk more because you have confidence in your skills already. So, yeah, depende po yan from person to person. CM Jaime, good morning, sir. Ano kaya affect sa market natin kung may US recession? Thanks po. Most probably, babagsak rin tayo because we are internationally 
affected talaga kasi we basically the volume of PSE depends on international market then so pag nagka recession kasi sa US people are gonna uh, mag turtle up they were they're gonna oh, what they call this um they're gonna turtle up hindi po sila maglalabas ng pera even right now um we are not seeing good um or good volume yet kasi shaky ang market international markets what more if bumagsak international market so mas wala tayong volume right ngayon nga na shaky lang dahil sa trade wars um uh, Brexit uh anliit uh, lumilit ang vol- anliit ang volume ng PSE because of that even if our economy is doing well what more if magka uh, magka recession doon pag nagka recession kasi people are gonna be assessing their assets again and then they're not gonna be uh, they they will most probably be afraid of moving uh, uh moving their money around right so magto turtle up yung mga yan wala tayong volume most probably so kung walang volume ang PSEI you know what will happen most probably babagsak yan Paolo Drew good morning Sir Lloyd Ali and MBT po sir right so let's check that out Ali and MBT Um, Edison, Guiche, Nickel, and CPG, please. Alright, so Nickel and CPG. Nasulat na si CPG. Let's check out Nickel. Right from that was from Edison. Abner, special coach. Pa insight naman po on my today's trading plan. Hold and buy FLI, Wilcon, Ali, and sell half SSI. Let's check it out. Right, so siguro we're gonna make this a uh, running program today. Anyway, so wala naman tayong topic talaga na ano pag-uusapan. Um Joel Lilo, good morning. Um Andres Lucas, coach, makai please. All right, 8:40 na. All right, so let's start with ano, let's start with my picks muna kasi marami-rami ang picks ngayon. I'll 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 share with you the technical analysis behind them. Congratulations sa mga may hawak ng makai. Um mataas as na yan ngayon. All right. So um first of the pick Today is Vita. Siguro this is my favorite pick right now, si Vita. Why? Um, we have good price action kay Vita. We are starting to trigger the upper Bollinger Band. So usually that's a very significant sign na ang sentiments ng market pataas na. And we have a bounce at the support. Uh, very good bounce on the support for Vita. Um, yeah, I think this is looking well. We can test that support out already for Vita B Core and as as B Core we have a confirmation of B Core um, support is going down actually I think price action is going down but RSI is starting to go up already so and um, this is good for B Core most probably it's a good support already you can test that out just in case it fo- goes down just cut your losses okay so B Core um, ISM Right, see ISM. Right, we have a good confirmation of the support bounce yesterday. Um, mas mali, mas mababa pa nga yung support niya. But RSI is starting to go up. So this means na konti na lang po ang nagbebenta. Right, no wala nang gaano nagbebenta. We are starting to gain momentum. So this is a good support that you can test. Mas healthy yung support na yan. Um, that's what the te- uh, the chart is telling us. But again, we're just basing our predictions on um on the past right we can't really make sure uh, we can't really be sure if the sentiments change today or the sentiments stay the same so we, it's not a hundred percent always right so we can tell but yeah this is very good uh, this is a very good signal for ism so ism is in my picks for today we have a confirmation bounce yesterday also with pha right it's so a pha why did i recommend pha yeah and divergence divergence right so pha 1.05 na siya ngayon. We have a confirmation bounce. Yeah, that's sus- the support sustained. This is this one right here. So, pwede na natin pasukin si PHA. Test na natin, right? Uh, my strategy with PHA is, I know for sure PHA is gonna go up like ATN. So, ginawa ko yung PHA, nag-test buy lang ako sa support. Then, if it goes down, then I'm just gonna be averaging down because I know for sure in, uh, soon enough, it's gonna go up again. Right? Pag labas na ng mga news niyan sa pera, anong gagawin nila. Right, so next up sa recommendations ko, PHA win. Right, so win. Um, we have a good price action kay win. We have good confirmation of the support. Um, paakyat na po ang RSI ni win. Right, so this is looking good for win. Right, very good support to test it out. Right, test out win. Maganda po ang projection ng company na yan. So, yan. Um, win is in my picks for today. CEI also. CEI, good price action. At least maliit pa rin ang risk natin. 
We have a support right here at this area. Um, Nag-spike siya kahapon eh. So, maganda yan. That's a good sign for uh, uh, for 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 CEI. We have a very good, ano, we have a very good um, support, uh, very low risk position right now. So, that should be good for CEI. Next for CEI is um, Mer. And si Mer naman, um, we have good price action here actually, right? Um, we have an uptrend line. Market is telling us na pataas siya. Uh, we are at MA20, so very low risk and position. It attempted to do breakout, hindi lang nag sustain, but we are at this level. Siguro, yeah, I think this is already in an uptrend. Eh, kasi we are seeing a higher high and higher low. So, yeah, I consider this an uptrend. Um, the, the resistance was broken. I think it's gonna break again. Right? So, this is already an uptrend for me. We have a higher high and higher low. So, pwede na yan si Mer. Right, you can check it out. Use the MA20 lang for your support, just in case we're wrong. Right, one of the low risk positions right now I can find is FNI. Um, very good price action during this time. We were able to hit that when we uh, recommended it here, and we are seeing a higher high and higher low already. So yeah, the stock is most probably on an uptrend already. So hopefully we're right. Right, so you can use that MA20 as your support. ECP, yeah, it's ECP. Um, we have a support for ECP. Volume is already starting to go down, meaning wala nang nagbebenta. So that's uh, that's a good sign for ECP. So hopefully mag green si ECP ngayon. Wala pa siyang green, so most probably let me just remove ECP on my pick for today. Baka, pero baka mag bounce. So abangan niyan today. Wala pa siyang bounce talaga. So um, that's kind of uh, what do you call this? Aggressive for me. Um, so tanggalin ko lang si ECP, but panoorin niyo po yan today. Baka paglaruan na naman yan si ECP. Um, CEI, Mer, FNI, Now, yeah, si Now, ito si Dow, right? So mga telco, right? Uh, we have a engulfing pattern right here. Ito yung sinasabi natin, lagi with the Bollinger Band. So what the price action is telling us na, yeah, uh, what it told us is most probably the downturn is finished, right? And then usually I wait for the stabilization before I wanna get in. We are seeing the stabilization right now. So we have a support right here. This is our support now. We can test that out. Tingnan natin. Mura pa naman si Now as of the moment. Alright. Uh, merong pinag-usapan kahapon. Uh, natakot sila kay Now kasi may nagsasabi na babagsak pa daw si Now. Price action wise, it's not telling us anything na babagsak naman siya. So, so far so good. Let's see what will happen in the future. Um, that's for now. May maganda support kasi eh. Primex. Primex. Right, so recommending Primex today. Why we have good divergence right here. Pataas na RSI niya, so we're seeing momentum. This is a much healthier bottom for uh, Primex. Um, use that as your support, right? Um, actually, engulfing pattern din yan eh. So use this as your support. Overall, napakalit pa rin ng risk ni Primex. So, pwede pa, right? Pwede pa natin habulin si Primex. So I'm recommending Primex for today. BPI, lastly. Right, so BPI, um, we have a support, right? here one two three so overall that's a good price for bpi uh, at yung breakout niya dati so usually at yung tinuturo natin after the breakout that resistance tends to become the support and yun nga naging support nga siya so it's bouncing at that area uh, we have a confirmation bounce yesterday so bpi is low risk pwede po natin testing si bpi a very good company hopefully it goes up in, um, in the future Right, so those are my picks for today. If you want to ask me, ano on top five ko siguro dito, I go for Vita, ISM, PHA, Win, and BPI. So yun po yung top five ko. Um, Vita, ISM, PHA, Win, and BPI. Those are my top picks for today. Right, so but again, guys, wala pa tayong, uh, no one can predict the market. So these are, um, I cannot assure you that these stocks are gonna go up. It's just that low risk for a good company. Yeah, you, that's why what I usually play, right? So Andres Lucas, Coach Makai, please, All right? So may request kay Makai kanina. Joy P, good morning, sir. VLL, MPI, MBT po. Thanks, please. Oh, nga pala, guys. Before we continue, I'm gonna go now to your, uh, to your what they call this, to your um, request, charting request. Uh, before we do that, I wanna share to you our um. Performance in Itoro so far so good. We're take uh we're profiting twelve uh two dollars uh latest positions natin not that much. Um, 
yung position natin na si 888 uh, uh, holdings, right? Um, negative 3.55 siya. Just wanna share why. Kasi, gap down siya yesterday. If you see, andito yung closing the other day and then it opened at this price right here. So, it's a gap down. Why? Bakit po siya na gap down? Um, because there was dividends yesterday. So, we received um, partial dividends naman kay kay 888 uh, holdings so kaya nag drop gap down siya i think it's still gonna go up still very healthy price for for ano for this stock so look at that mas mababa yung presyo but rsi is higher right so this past 3 days mas mababa yung presyo niya than this red right here but rsi is um it's is constant right so this is still good very healthy bottom so i'm still holding it out may nagkaroon lang tayo ng dividends so, UK100 is already starting to go up. We are up 1% already. Guys, international market to ha. Hindi to tulad ni PSE na mabilis gumala ako kasi malit yung volume. Um, UK, um, much bigger volume uh, but um, much consistent naman ang galaw. Right? So, yun, mas stable ang galaw niya. Less volatile. So, um, we're already starting to earn in UK. Um, I think 888 still gonna go up. So, I am trading for you. If ever you want to, kung wala kayong oras to trade, I invite you to check out copy trading. Right? I-copy nyo lang po ako. Alright? Ako na po ang trade sa inyo. I am handling around 171K. So, that's around 9 million pesos under me. So, ako po nagtitrade um, sa 274 katao. Right? I have last 30 days lang yan. Um, not really sure how much, uh, how many traders I have um, copied me overall. Pero, yan. Um, sa last 30 days lang pala to. Um, yeah. Um, good performance tayo ngayon. Um, we're still up. Yung mga kakopya lang sa akin kahapon, positive na kaagad sila. So, congratulations to those who have copy traded me. Um, if you haven't done copy trading yet, create an eToro account using my link at the video description. And then you can search for my name, right? Search na lang po, search na lang po si El Bazar. And then once you found my name, just just you just copy me, right? So once you look for my name, click my name. You can see my statistics, performance natin, right? For March it's five ninety nine already. So yung mga nagkopya sa akin noon pa um, are already earning. Um, for this year, twelve percent tapo ang gain natin. So that's very good. In just three months, naka twelve percent ang pera niyo. Hindi kayo nagtatrabaho. Wala kayong ginagawa, right? Natulog lang kayo. Um, ako na trade para sa inyo. So, that's copy trading basically. It's the easiest way to earn in the stock market. Just look for people you you try, you trust to trade. So, just click here on copy people. Nasa lower left side ng market. And then, top investors. Meron dito mga trending. Meron ditong most copied. Right? So, Chocowin has 2,921 copiers. Yan. So, um, taking pride in this. Isa po tayo sa mga anjan sa most uh, most copied right uh, anjan tayo sa ayan so ako po ang blue ayan i have 272 copiers blue meaning hindi pa ako binabayaran ni itoro to be copied these guys are receiving 1000 a month 1000 usd so ako lang ang blue <laughs> happy so at least merong pilipino diyan sa ano natin so and so you can look for these people pag pa performance nila 42 47% the last 6 months um 4% the last 6 months 6.20% the last 6 months right so you can check these these guys out right so that's a good thing about copy trading um everything is transparent makikita niyo po statistics at makikita niyo yung portfolio nila if gusto niyo ang galaw ng portfolio niya at mga pinapasukan nila then you can copy that person okay so copy trading Kakao na po magte-trade para sa inyo. Just create an account using my link. Yun lang po ang hiningko. If ever gumawa kayo ng account na hindi gamit ang link ko, let me know para malipat natin, malipat sa pangalan ko. Sayang naman yung referral na binibigay ni Itoro. Alright, that can help the channel a lot. Alright, um, ayun, si Lyft pala, guys. Si Lyft mag-APO uh, mag, uh, na. 20 billion ang, that's a very good company. right? so I invite you to invest in Lyft, right? Um, I'm gonna be looking at the price action and lift of lift the next few days. Let's see if we position tayo kasi medyo aggressive pa ngayon. So, hindi ko muna papasukin but definitely, pwede nating paglaroan yan sa lift because I think it's still gonna be very good. Right? Aakyat at aakyat yan because that's a good company. Alright, um, and isa sa sponsors natin, 2Trade Asia. Check out 2TradeAsia at 2TradeAsia.com. 
you're looking for a good broker na uh, what you call this um, reliable mabilis and, and definitely ang ganda ng support right um, once you contact them in their FB page ang bilis mag-reply kung kailangan niyo ng tulong check out 23daysia 23daysia.com um, ngayon um, let's go to your requests kasi medyo marami-rami ito kanina si IRC may nag-request kay IRC kanina um, before I go to IRC let me see if meron tayong mga comments na um, na hindi na ano um, hindi pa nababasa Edgardo, Carl oops, bubagsak migla ang comments um, Hops uh, sino nga ba yun last? hindi ko na maalala eh Alright, so I think that was Edison no, Emmanuel yan, si Emmanuel Polaika and so highlight ko lang kung sino ang last so let's see if you have any comments Sir Lloyd, I need to upload address verification sa eToro can you give us an example document that is valid for this requirement? Um, meron ba kayong billing statement um, or siguro sa bank ninyo, um, banking statement ninyo, um, credit card na bill, um, sh for sure naka-address yan sa current address ninyo so you can use that. Um, electric bill, water bill, pwede po yan. Roland Tamela, good morning. Sir Lloyd, paano mag-sell ng stock sa Itoro? Exit lang or close ba? Right, very good question. So if you wanna exit a stock or gusto mo magbenta, let me just go to my virtual portfolio. Just to be sure. For example, gusto ko na ibenta si BTC. Um, may gain ako kay BTC. Linagyan ko ng $500. Nagain ako ng 67 That's 33%. So, just click here. And then, close. Pwede yan. Or, you, if you wanna sell a portion of it, just click here. And then, click on this X right here. Just click the stock. And then, close partial of my trade. And then, so yung kalahati niyan, i-close niya 285 ang isasara niya. Diba? So, ganun lang. Again, um, just go to your portfolio and then click on the stock. Kung gusto nyong Porsche lang or you can click here. And then close trade. Pag nag-close mo yan, ibibenta yan kaagad to the current price. If you want a more uh, uh, more controllable sell, so just click on the stock and then click on X. Right here and then yan. Um, close portion of my trade and then how much do you want to close or do you want to close everything? Pag na-close mo yan, benta na kaagad yan. Right? So that's how you close a trade. Um... Nag-stop muna ako copy sa inyo. Nagka-problema sa requirements ko. Pending verification pa from Folica. That's okay. Right? So, um, email the support lang. And email this person, Jeff Gu at eToro.com. That person will help you on your, if you have any questions in ano, um, in your uh, in your application. Sir Lloyd, I'm stuck with address verification sa eToro. Can you give us a requirement document? Ayan. So, we already answered that. Sir, what do you, oh, what, from Jeff C, sir, what, if you get into a stock at support, how long do you ride the movement up? And if it doesn't reach your target profit based on one is the two risk to reward ratio and is giving us signs of losing momentum, do I take profits? As much as possible, I don't. Alright? Um, hinayaan ko lang muna siya. Right? I always let my hunch play out. Right? Kasi baka no, umakyat eh. Diba? Um, yun yung nangyari sa akin kay oil. Um, Tingnan natin si oil, okay? Uh, very good, very good, um, ano, example. Oil. Alright, so let's check out, check out the chart of oil. Alright, so si oil, nung andito pa siya, alright, um, at this point right here, we were earning at oil. Uh, saan yun? Yan, breakout dito. We use a breakout strategy. And pumula si oil. We were earning at around 60. Then, umakit siya. Then, suddenly, bumagsak si oil back down to support. Right? So, um, na-pressure ako sa nagka-copy trade sa akin kasi uh, nag they lost during this drop. Um, kailan ko daw if uh, magka-cut loss na ba ako? Actually, my cut loss is below that support. So, hindi pa dapat ako nag-cut loss. But since, I, na, yun, na-pressure ako, nabenta ko na lang dito, and then bumalik naman sa pressure na yun, 60. So, sayang naman yung gain. So, um, that's the point. If your, if your, what they call this, if your plan isn't hit yet, huwag mo muna ibebenta. You could be wrong. Right now, natutulog si oil. So, right now, we don't really know where for sure where it is going. Pero, that's the thing. You can't predict the market. MA20 nag-bounce siya. So, I think it's gonna go up again. No one can predict the market. Kung ibebenta mo kaagad yan, baka umakyat. Tama pala yung ano mo. So, as, as, as much as possible, let your plan um, play out. Okay? Um, uh, update po. Uh, yan. So, 
And so Marlo Baroro has a question, may buntag Sir Lloyd, may nakasubok na ba mag-withdraw ng funds sa Itoro dito sa Pinas? Nagdadalang isip kasi ako kasi magbitaw ng malaking halaga, kaya minimum pa lang laman sa Itoro ko. Oh yeah, I've, I've tried withdrawing in Itoro also. One of my good friends, eh, Andrew, nagka-problema siya with withdrawing noon, pero hindi kasalanan ni Itoro, right? Um kasi ang banking natin dito, ang process kasi ni Itoro, di ba, credit card, usually credit card yung ginagamit mo. Pag nag-take profits ka, for example, nag-gain ka, for, you put in 1,000 pesos, uh, 1,000 dollars, then nag-profit ka, nag ka ng 500 dollars. If you wanna withdraw the 500 dollars, ibabalik nila sa credit card mo yan. So, they return it as a refund kasi transaction yun, di ba? They return it as a refund kasi yun yung pinakamabilis. For Itoro, they've done their part. Actually, na-process na nila. Um, nagka-problema lang it's because dito sa Pilipinas kasi yung refunds take a while, right? And then, ang pinagawa sa, pinagawa namin kay Andrew is we had him contact the bank, right? So, si bank kasi ang may problema. Matagal mag-process ng, uh, ng refund si BDO. So, ayun. Um, I- um, Itoro did its part. Si bank lang ang medyo matagal. So, baka you confuse those with Itoro having issues, right? Sa bank ko lang ang problema na yun. Kasi ang problema dito sa Pilipinas, pag refund, isang billing site. Have you tried to uh, ask for a refund from a, for, of a transaction? Diba? Ang tagal. Ang tagal sa Pilipinas, grabe. So, it takes usually a month before lumabas yung mga uh, yung mga refunds. Right? So, that's the issue right there. But, binabalik po ni Ito Rampera. Right? Wala pong problema dyan. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. morning sa mga, do- uh, sa mga dogs mo. <laughs> Yan. So, Let's continue. Good morning, sir. Ano ibig sabihin ng leverage sa Itoro from Juna Sanchez? Very good question. Um, leverage means um, pwede kang pautangin ni Itoro. For example, kay oil kasi. Kay oil, uh, example, commodities, 1,000 USD po. For example, let's say, um, let's go to my real portfolio. Go to real portfolio and then let's try to trade oil. Okay, oil. Trade. Yan. So, Si oil kasi, look at this, uh, leverage, lagay natin sa X1, look at this, deposit $38 or increase leverage in order to open this trade with a minimum deposit of $1,000. So, si oil and commodities, $1,000 po ang minimum niya. But right now, I don't have $1,000. Diba? Wala akong $1,000 eh, diba? So, kasi ang per- current meron ako is, let me go to my portfolio. I only have $962. Uh, dollars available. So, if I open oil, kulang ang pera ko. So, what it does is, pauutangin ka ni, um, ni, what they call this, ni, ni itoro ng pera. For example, I, I wanna put in $100, $100, so, para ma-meet ko yung exposure na $1,000, itoro will let me borrow times 10 leverage. So, ita times 10 niya ang pera ko. Right? Pero, ang problema nito, uh, so, ita times na niya ang pera ko so then I can meet the $1,000. So, pwede na ako mag-trade ni oil with $1,000 uh, $100 lever, uh, $100 right? with just leverage 10 pesos. So, on downside nito, that's the beauty of it. If you are very sure of your technical analysis, if you're very sure of your skill, then you can use leverage. Right? Ang gandaan kasi ng leverage, parang $1,000 na linagay mo. So, if you earn 5%, then times 5 rin ang, uh, times 10 rin ang $5 mo. Uh, I mean, 5% mo. So, malaki po siya, di ba? So, parang ng 1,000 ang exposure mo. But, ang problema nito is, ang losses mo is times 10 din. So, what if you lose 1% of 10, $100? Um, I mean, 10% of $100, 10% is $10, di ba? Ita times 10 yan. So, at negative 10%, ubos ang 100 mo, lalabas ka agad, ubos ang $100 mo. So, yun yung delikado rin naman kay... Um, kay leveraging right soon right PSE is planning to um a uh, futures kasi ang tawag dito eh um soon um PSE is planning to make this available pero i think matagal-tagal pa yan hindi pa nga na uh, apply yung short selling eh tsaka yung um yan yung futures na yan yung short selling hindi pa nila na apply so hopefully mangyari din ito kay uh, kay ano kay IS ah uh, kay PSE Kaso nga lang kay PSE, pag merong ganito, sus, ang mga gamblers, grabe. Uh, yung mga problema kay PSE kasi na-jajaki pa rin, na-affected pa rin na insider trading. So, very hard for, I don't uh, I don't want that to happen to PSE. It's gonna be very unhealthy. 
yung market ni PSE if that happens. Anyways, let's go to the picks. Um, I hope I've, I I was able to answer your question. Um, Ed, uh, no, that was not from Ed Edgardo. I forgot sino um sino uh, Jerome um sold Geo eighteen percent yesterday. Congratulations. Um, yun, so um, I hope that was helpful for those who don't know leveraging. Also, very helpful for you guys. If ever sure na sure kayo sa laro, right? If you think it's a very good support, very good company, um, pwede nyo po i-leverage, magta times, even up to times 20 ang pera ninyo. So, you can do that also. Right. So, um, VLL, CPG. So, let's go to your picks. IRC, um, yan, yung sinasabi natin, nag-trigger sa lower Bollinger Band. So, we, most probably, we know where it is going. So, bumagsak ng bumagsak pa. We don't have any support that we can test out for IRC. So, medyo mahirap pa for us to look onto IRC. Kasi yung problem ni IRC, yung growth niya. Um, okay naman yung growth niya. Uh, ni naman to speculative or anything. It's just that market sentiments, pababa market sentiments. So, we just have to act accordingly. Um, don't want you to go aggressive right now. It's very, very volatile and it's uh, volatility is go... Um, downward so most probably babagsak pa yan hindi natin alam so you don't please don't be aggressive in that VLL right may request kanina kay VLL so far so good support is holding if you want to get in VLL get in near this support as much as you can right for VLL um CPG uh, CPG I can't recommend CPG yet uh we don't know for sure where this is going right kasi medyo mataas na si CPG right but we have a good MA20 bounce this is the best area to test it out. Market na si CPG. Right now, don't want to recommend it. Mataas taas na risk. So, pabayaan nyo na po muna yan. Alright, let it play out. And then, let's see if in the future, bibigyan tayo ng buy signal. Um, buy position. Kung wala, then let it go. Alright, for X naman. Hmm. X, 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 X. Um, very good bounce for X. Uh, I can't recommend it as of the moment. Let's see if we'll... If we'll if it will give us a good uh, good price action i don't want to recommend x actually right so kasi fundamentally speaking pangit si x so uh that's against my uh against my buy, my trading bias so i'd stay away from x right let's see in the future if bigyan tayo ng magandang price action let's see what will happen chp um it broke me 20 already pero nag bounce but I don't think this is a good climb anymore for CHP. Could be wrong, guys, right? It's just that CHP is against my trading bias. Uh, price action-wise, during this time, meron tayong divergence. So this was good, right? Ang ganda ng divergence niyan. But right now, we're not seeing any good signs for CHP. It broke its uptrend. Um, siguro ng bounce, but once MA20 is broken, I that's volatility striking again. Uh, so I don't want to uh, it's unpredictable at that point so I don't want to recommend it yet mahirap po yan especially for stock na nasa taas na and fundamentally not good so I don't want to recommend CHP T and si T nagpo pullback so yung mga naipit pasensya na wala tayong magagawa dyan let's see if mag bounce si T right before you wanna get in T right now wala pong wala pong movement naman so iwas iwas na muna web naman si web wait, it, wait for it to do a pullback and higher low dyan po tas, dyan tayo papasok dyan so wag muna as of the moment for web um, pero definitely very good volume for web so let's see what will happen in the future baka dinaki na naman yan eh. PIP ayan si PIP did a breakout yesterday but did not sustain so this is good for PIP at least gumalaw na siya good volume Hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy. If ever, pumasok kay PIP sa support. We've been recommending that here. Congratulations. Uh, if gusto nyo humabol kay PIP, ano na po? Breakout na lang. If ever, gusto nyo talaga humabol kay PIP. Right now, wag po muna. Nasa resistance siya. We don't really know for sure that where that is going. SOC. May question about SOC. So, wait for it to bounce lang. Right? Most probably, after na yan. So, right now, wala pa. So, stay away muna. ISM, PHA, we talked about that. PX. Right? So, PX. Um... Time check it's nine zero eight, so and so MWs here advisable mo enter low na kayo on price. Let's check it out, sir. Pag bumaba na stock sa itoro, e pwede ba short yung without exiting para hindi ma charge. Um, pag pag bumaba ba ng stock sa itoro, e pwede ba short yun without exiting para hindi ma charge. Actually, ma charge yan. 
oh, may overnight fees kasi short selling. Short selling, you're basically borrowing stocks from eToro, di ba? Pag short selling. So, pag, if you, whenever you're borrowing something, may overnight fees siya. Pwede mo i-short sell within that day, ibenta mo kaagad, wala pong charges yon. Pero pag pinalagpas mo na isang araw, yeah, um, may charges yon. So, um, careful lang. Careful lang with that. Um, only do that if ever napakataas na ng stock. Sir, ask ko po if I use PayPal to fund my eToro account. Kung mag-withdraw po ba sa PayPal rin ipabalik or pwede i-direct sa bank account. Yeah, um, PayPal rin nila ipabalik. Kung saan mo unang uh, uh, dineposit, doon nila lalagay yan. So, most probably PayPal mapupunta yan, Lawrence. Alright. Alright, so let's continue. Si PX. Alright, PX. Uh, right now, stay away lang muna. Wala tayong ano. Wala tayong support na ma ma mababasehan para sa pag-akyat niya. So stay away lang muna kay PX. PXP, there's a question about PXP. Ayun, may bounce siya. So nga lang, uh, we can't really tell if this is a good uh, avenue for PXP. Um, very volatile as of the moment. I don't want to recommend PXP yet. I usually enter at non-volatile positions. Um, right now very volatile pa si PXP. We can't really see if bounce na yan or hindi pa. There's no engulfing pattern. There's no nothing. Uh, walang support. So, we can't really say. Run, run. Sir, nakapag-deposit ako once sa itoro gamit ang credit card. Gusto ko mag-add sana kaso nag-fulfilled na siya. Napunta ako ng bank. Sabi, naka-block na daw website ng itoro from Korea. That's weird. I don't know if it's blocked from Korea. Um, yeah, can you email uh, Jeff Gu as much as possible? Diretso kayo sa support. Jeff Gu at etoro.com for confirmation about that so that he can check it out. Hindi ko alam yung update if bina pinagbawal sa Korea. Baka wala na silang license sa Korea. Right? So, yan. Um, kasi other countries are very strict with trading licenses. US, Canada, yan, and Japan. Right? Dito sa Pilipinas, okay naman si etoro. So, no problem here in the Philippines. Um, yan. Um, PXP, stay away lang muna. Still very volatile after as of the moment, IRC, we talked about that. SMC, SMC naman. Uh, I can't recommend SMC as of the moment. So, wag muna, iwas lang muna kay SMC. Right? Um, but definitely, there's good spike in the volumes in SMC. So, I can't tell as of the moment, medyo mataas na si SMC. Mas gusto ko mag major pullback si SMC before pasukin. Like this one right here. But definitely, a very good company to get into. Alright, SMC, LSP. No, LS, is this LSP or LSC? LSC, siguro to. LS. Alright, so LSC, uh, pullback pa. Let's see what will happen at MA20. But stay away po. Huwag na huwag po kayo maghahabol dyan. Ayan, naipit yung mga naghabol. Hindi natin alam saan pupunta yan. So, baka, baka nga mag-break na support yan. So, hindi nyo alam. So, stay away from it. Alright. So, mga may questions na about um, deposits na about uh, eToro, please email jeffgu at eToro.com para um, masagot po kayo ng direct support ng, um, ng what they call this, ng eToro. Uh, LSP, LSC, SCC, SCC. May question about SCC. Kamusta natin si SCC? Alright. So, um, gap down because of the dividends. Um, I can't tell as of the moment. I hear up sabin kay SEC. So let's see in the future lang muna. I need more data for SEC because of the gap down. It's really hard to tell. CPG, we talked about CPG already. MB, right? So uh, Manila Bulletin, right? So wala pa. So let's see if it will go back down to support before we wanna get in MB. So, so far, wala pa si MB. Um, Nagpo pull back pa. Antay na rin tayo ng bounce before you wanna check it out. Nickel, um, nickel. Downturn pa po eh. Right? So, downturn pa si Nickel. So, stay away lang muna tayo kay Nickel. Right? Pababa pa yung lows niya. So, let's see what will happen in the future. But right now, we're seeing downturn pa kay Nickel. Um, ho ah, ito yun. Nickel hold and buy. I don't wanna say hold and buy kay Nickel. Dapat nag-cut loss na tayo dyan. Kasi nag-downturn na siya when it broke. When it showed us lower highs and then it broke MA20. Pa-downturn na siya. Dapat dito pa lang nag-sell all na tayo. So, I don't wanna recommend holding nickel kasi um, downturn pa siya. Hindi natin alam kung sa hanggang saan yan. Right? Um, FLI. Um, FLI. Ay, ne. For nickel yon For nickel. Hold and buy FLI. 
um FLI so yeah okay pa to sa FLI still very cheap as of the moment um FLI Wilcon si Wilcon naman medyo mataas na si Wilcon eh don't want, I don't really want to play stocks at the top right um but we have an uptrend line right there you can test out Wilcon's uptrend line baka umakyat pa but we are seeing lower RSI already so meaning pa pawala na yung momentum niya so konti ingat na kay Wilcon Right, nasa taas na po yan. Huwag na tayong maghahabol dyan sa taas. It will go down in the future. So, abangan lang natin pag bumagsak ang sentiments ni Wilcon, there will come a point na medyo mahal na talaga siya. Wala nang bumibili. So, bumabagsak yan. So, let's see in the future if it gives us a pullback. And then, antay natin sa baba. Kasi the Wilcon is a good company. Ali, resistance po tayo. So, stay away lang muna. Sell half. Yan, sell half. Uh, si Ali, uh, sa resistance pa tayo. I uh, don't want to recommend buying it. So you can hold on to it if you want to. Um, sell half ka SSI. SSI naman. Mm -hmm. So also, yeah. Um, good to sell half ka SSI. We are seeing lower highs. But baka mag-breakout eh. If ever mag-fail and break out, break out or it fails MA20, then yeah, you can sell half for SSI. Pa-breakout na yan, most probably. Alright. Um, Makai. Ayan, may, may question kanina kay Makai. Okay. So, paakit ni si Makai yesterday. So, good job sa mga pumasok sa support. This is how you play supports. Right? We talked about that the past few days. So, maakit ni si Makai. So, already missed opportunity. Huwag nyo na pong hahabulin yan. Right? So, let me go back sa last na question kanina before tayo bumag um, bumaba. Right? Um, sino ba yun? Last natin nakausap. Yan, si Andres Lucas, Coach Makai, please. Right, Joel Lilo, good morning. Um, Joy P, good morning. VLL, MPI, and MBT. Right, so I think we've already covered them. Si MPI, I think hindi pa. Kamusta natin si MPI? Right, si MPI, nagbabounce naman. Overall, si MPI is still very cheap. I still want to recommend MPI for long term. Tagal nga lang gumalaw ngayon. Don't know what's wrong with MPI. But we have, we're seeing good volume spikes right here. So that's accumulation of people. Still very cheap, so pwede pa tayong magbodega kay MPI. Definitely for long term, this is a good avenue to buy more stocks habang mura pa siya si MPI. MBT, we covered that already. Edison Guiche, <coughs> medyo masakit yung lalamunan ko. Time check, it's 9.16. Again guys, um, if you wanna join my seminar, I have a seminar tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, if you wanna learn how to trade. And pa, matuturoan ko po kayo no, mas systemic na way how to trade just send me a message napakamura lang po ng seminar just send me a message so I can send you the details um, eToro create an eToro account using my link um, so that pwede na kayo mag copy trade especially for those who don't really know how to trade or walang oras mag trade cop try copy trading yan, ibang tao na po mag trade para sa inyo that's passive income right so yan, high risk high reward na passive income so that's very good for you. Right. So MPI, MBT, and Edison Guiche. Sir Nickel and CPG, please. 10% loss na ako kay Nickel. Eh, downtrend pa po si uh, Nickel, Edison. Hindi natin alam saan papunta yan. So, uh, always cut your losses po. Emmanuel Butak. Hey, Sir Lloyd, pahabol po ng PIP. We talked about that already. So, full like a good morning, Sir Lloyd. JGS po. Alright, kumusta natin nga si JGS? JGS. Yun, nagsa sideways na pala si JGS. After the engulfing pattern, we have a sideways movement right here. Uy, very good find. Right? Let's see if JGS will uh, confirm a support. Pwede natin testing to. Right? Definitely showing us good signs already si JGS. Yeah, kasi nga lang medyo mataas si JGS. Yeah, but then again, price action is telling us it's doing sideways. Get in near support as much as you can if you want to test out JGS. Right? Um... Edgardo, galang, Fen naman. Uy, si Fen. Gumalaw na ito eh. Right? Um, we talked about Fen during the support. I recommended it here. Um, ayun, mataas na si Fen. Stay away from it na. Right? Mataas na po yan. Let's just wait for another pullback before we wanna get in Fen. Stay away na muna kay Fen ma. Right? Um, Carl Nico Santos. Lloyd, pahabol naman po ng P-Core. Kamusta na si P-Core? Pababa pa si B-Core eh. So, um, downtrend pa, most probably si Picor, so stay away from it. That's the reason why I usually don't, I haven't been recommending Picor lately. Kasi, medyo mabigat pa si Picor. 
Right, so stay away from it for now. Hops, sir, my condolences po. Thank you. Sir, IRC po, your inputs please for long-term and short-term traders. Short-term traders, too aggressive for now. Iwas lang muna kay IRC. Um, long-term traders naman, yeah, definitely the projects of IRC are looking well. So um, it's good for longer term, right? Um, leverage from Juna Sanchez. Uh, we answered that already. Um, yun, si Run Dominator. XXX. ABBA ang sa kanya. Yan, si ABBA, uh, kind of volatile right now. Don't re I can't really recommend ABBA yet. Though we have an engulfing pattern here, so this might be good. Let's see. Um, gusto ko ng confirmation, maybe a higher low or further confirmation down sa support kay ABBA. Kind of volatile pa siya for me as of the moment. So I want to stay away for, from ABBA moon. I could be wrong, baka lumipad na yan. So if you're an aggressive player, yes, this is a good confirmation for ABBA. Usually... Medyo mataas na si Aba eh. So, I really, wanna, I really want a confirmation muna before I wanna get in Aba. Alright, Edgardo. Good morning, sir. Good morning din sa mga dogs mo. Fen, we talked about that already. Apulio, Jole, Jole. And good morning, sir. ECP po, sir. Please, ipit ako. ECP, I am recommending ECP for today. But hindi po siya recommended for ipit. Alright, for traders, I recommend ko si ECP today. Uh, if it bounces today, that, was, that will be a good entry point kasi maliit ang risk. Just cut loss if ever a, uh, your cut loss plan is hit. Right? I cannot recommend ECP for long term po. Huwag ipit kayo. He, mahirap. I can't really tell <laughs> anong gagawin nyo. But I have a video about anong gagawin nyo pag ipit kayo sa isang stock. Please search for it. Um, just go to YouTube. Right? Uh, YouTube.com and then search for uh, averaging down, average down, then Lloyd Bazaar. Right, so I didn't cut loss. How to average down without adding money in stocks that is gonna be helping you on your stocks na ipit kayo, what to do. Right, pero mag average down na kayo or hold on to a stock if that stock is doing well. Pero kung pangit naman, let go of it already. Why? Because you don't know if it's when it's gonna recover. Na alalin niyo si, 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 ano, si CHP. Yun yung alam kailan magre-recover yan. So, huwag kayo magpaka-martyr sa stocks na um, it's not doing well. Alright. Telson, Talabot. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pacheck po ng Tech and EW. Si EW, nilagay ko to dito kasi list ko kanina. EW is good. Alright. Bakit nawala si EW sa list ko? Yan ka. So, yeah. I had to shorten my list. So, EW is showing us good price action right here. Pwede natin testing yan si EW. Right? So, very good for EW. Um, pwede mo itest na support niya. You can buy the support if you want to kay EW. Um, tech. So, tech still doing well as a company, price action wise. Siguro, uh, breakout will be a good confirmation. You can use a breakout as your support for tech, right? Doing well lately naman si tech. So, yeah, definitely good to test, right? Um, Zinaida, karunungan. Sir, insights niyo po kay PHA. Nag-buy po kasi kahapon. Oh, so far, so good si PHA. I'm recommending it today even. Jerome, congratulations sa... Uh, this is what this guy is one of my students, Jerome Gamboa. Sold my EGO at 18% yesterday. Amazing. So, congratulations. CHIB para my probable gain for today. Let's check out CHIB. It is 9.22. I'm gonna do this the best I can. Uy, may support to CHIB. Probable gain. This is very good bottom pick. Ano? Very good bottom pick, Jerome. Right? Divergence right here. Yeah, CHIB, pag na green yan today, it should definitely check it out, right? So, I, yeah, if I can recommend it. Hindi ko muna i-recommend, wala tayong confirmation. It's too aggressive for me, but Jerome, definitely, tingnan nyo po ito today, si CHIB. Pag na green yan, pwede nyo pasukin yan, right? CHIB, check it out. Um, Edison, Guiche, Nickel, Marlo, uh, yan, we already answered that. Um... Morning Coach, BDO, ngayon, mag-test by kay BDO ngayon, from Wealth Gainer. BDO, ayan, wag muna kay BDO, hantayin yung breakout. Uh, if you wanna test by BDO for trading, breakout will be good. This is an ascending triangle pattern. Breakout will be a confirmation of bullish siya, right? Kasi may bearish stopper dito eh. So, resistance yan. So, hindi pa natin alam sino mananalo. Is it the bearish people or the bullish people? So, a breakout will confirm na bullish siya. So, pwede ka mag-test by kay BDO pag nag-breakout yan. Um, PXP po, oversold na. Yes, PXP is showing us good uh, uh, oversold levels. Pero, um, 
Yeah, pwede nyo. Actually, yeah. Very good point. Um, oversold levels sa CPXP, umabot ng 20. Eh. Just that is too, uh, what do you call this, is too aggressive for me as of the moment. But you can test it out as this bottom just in case it goes further down. Just cut your losses, okay? But yeah, definitely looking good for PXP. Um, too volatile for me to play. Right, so very good find frm jcb eduardo arcoy morning loto please uh, all right si loto um the gap down is here so i'm um, support na si loto um there's a good support here for loto pero as a company eh, hindi ko kasi alam yung fundamentals ni loto eh right so i can't really tell about loto as of the moment uh, very volatile position, so I don't want to recommend it yet. I want to. I want Lotto to stabilize for for the meantime before I want to recommend it. Burnstone Gaming, pa, pa add na rin po si DMC. We still have time. Right, DMC, one of the good companies. Yeah, and one of the uh, recommendations that we're proud of. We talked about DMC here. Very good company. Right, so we are. We also recommended DMC here. So nananalo na tayo. Um, it's doing a pullback. So nga lang, yeah, we'll test it out. Uh, we have a possible support here. So, tignan natin if mag-bounce si DMC. Definitely, I'll be recommending DMC if it the bounces today for next week. So, yan. Um, Emir, Jeff C, do you advise averaging down on PHA? Ipit ako on 1.29. Yes, that's my strategy as of the moment. Bili, bumili ako at 1.03. If it, uh, It's showing us a good support. If it goes further down, I'm gonna be adding more because I know PHA most probably is gonna go up. Kasi ang ganda ng, ang laki ng pera nila ngayon. Right? That's a very good, uh, hefty amount of money. Um, pero marami silang pwedeng gawin na maganda because of that. So, yeah, I will recommend averaging down. Emir Cristobal, uh, Luis, Luis San, uh, Santiago, sir, in the top five nyo. Vita, bet ko, yes. Number one si Vita po. Right? So, again, on my picks, my top five is Vita, Bicor, no, Vita B Core, no, Vita ISM PHA, Win and BPI. Yun po yung top 5 ko ngayon. That's it for today. Um baka po hindi ako magkasagot ng maayos sa mga messages ninyo cuz you know the predicament of the family, um we 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 go to the wake. So baka hindi ko makasagot ng maayos. So pasensya na po. I'll see you again next week. Um, if you want to join the seminar, meron tayong seminar bukas on Sunday 9 in the morning. Please send me a message if you want to join that. As always, let's get rich together. Enjoy your weekend. Happy happy weekend. Bye-bye.